La Crosse police seized drugs, cash, and guns at a home and storage unit. Now, that 26 year old suspect is being held in jail on a $1 million bond. Rob Romano has more for us. How can they do that literally? You know, three doors down, right under my nose, and I had no clue. Tom Took lives on Powell Street, not far from where a more than $1 million drug bust happened Monday night. I mean, on such a large scale like that, that's. I wouldn't want any of that kind of stuff going on in my neighborhood. The La Crosse police executed a series of search warrants, one at 627 Powell Street at this house and in a nearby car, and another at a storage unit on Rose Street. Police seized one pound of fentanyl, more than 250 grams of cocaine, and more than 25 grams of meth, as well as four handguns and a rifle with more than 1,000 rounds of ammunition in total. La Crosse Police Lieutenant Linnea Miller spoke about the precautions taken by officers to handle so many drugs and other illicit items. We have very specific protocols on how we deal with the um, drugs that we come in contact with, so we're very careful. Our investigators make sure that they're using the proper um, protective uh, protocol. Meanwhile, back on Powell Street, one woman who didn't want to be identified said she's in total shock. It's pretty sad to find out that it's in our neighborhood. It's scary, too. I'm shaking right now. As for Took, he's just glad that the alleged drug trafficker didn't fire any of the five weapons police seized. If he would have gotten into it with the police around the other day, holy cow, and like I say, I live right here. Stray bullets flying, we don't need that. Well, police also say thousands of boxes was uh, ready to mail those drugs in his possession. Prosecutors expect the, uh, to charge that suspect tomorrow.